Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy and today I'm here to share with you the strategy that I use to secure my first restaurant client and how you can replicate this success. This method was instrumental in helping me revive my agency after a challenging period where I had to let go of most of my clients. Despite having no testimonials or a strong foundation to stand on, I managed to land multiple restaurant clients across the country within a couple of months. While this may not sound like a huge feat, it was a significant achievement given the circumstances and it set the stage for future success. The beauty of this approach lies in its simplicity and cost effectiveness. It requires minimal investment and yet, it can yield substantial returns. More importantly, it allows you to generate valuable testimonials which are crucial for attracting long-term clients and building your profile. Now, most restaurant owners are known for being skeptical, which is why it's essential to demonstrate value upfront. They are cautious with their money, especially when it comes to services they're unfamiliar with. So the key to winning them over is to provide tangible results before asking for payment. If you're looking to enter the agency space or if you want to build a scalable business with clients, that you generally care about, this strategy is worth considering. I'll walk you through the best ways to reach restaurant owners, what to say to them, what services to offer, and how to structure your pricing so that you can secure your first client in 30 days or less. Now, when it comes to outreach, there are several approaches that you can take, each with its own set of advantages and challenges. Broadly speaking, outreach methods can be categorized into four types. Now, these strategies include warm outreach, cold outreach, content creation, and paid advertising. If you're just starting out and don't have contacts or testimonials to leverage, direct outreach is your best bet. Personally, I found that in-person outreach is the most effective, especially when dealing with restaurant owners. Many of them are inundated with direct messages and emails, so showing up in person can make a significant difference. Now, this approach not only sets you apart from the rest of the competition, but it also gives you the opportunity to establish a personal connection, which is something that many restaurant owners value. Now, when I was starting out, I prioritized in person outreach for this very reason. I would walk into restaurants and offer to generate reservations for them at no cost in exchange for a testimonial. Now, this offer is difficult for most restaurant owners to refuse because it provides them with immediate value without requiring any upfront investment. Over time, I discovered that the beginning of the week, particularly Mondays and Tuesdays, tends to be slower for restaurants, making these days ideal for outreach. Now, by targeting restaurants during their slow periods, you can demonstrate how your services can help fill those empty seats, which is often one of the primary concerns. Sales, at its core, is a conversation. The more questions you have, the more information you gather, and the better you can tailor your offer to meet the specific needs of your potential clients. Rather than relying on a rigid script, I prefer to engage restaurant owners in a dialogue that allows me to understand their pain points and business goals. Here are some key questions that have proven to be effective. What does the beginning of the week look like for you? Now, this question helps you identify slow periods that you can target to drive more business to the restaurant. Question number two, are you running any promotions? If they are, this opens the door to discuss how they're currently promoting their deals and whether there's room for improvement. Question number three, how are you getting your promotions out to customers? Now, this question is crucial because it reveals the methods they're currently using to reach their audience. Whether it's through social media, flyers, or in-house promotions, it also highlights potential gaps in their marketing strategy that you can help fill. Another question would be, what are you doing to get more people in the door? Now, this question encourages the restaurant owner to think critically about their current strategies and opens up the conversation for you to suggest some new methods. Another question you should ask is, what's your average spend per customer? Now, understanding this figure allows you to gauge how much value you can potentially bring to the restaurant and helps you determine how much you can charge for your services. 
By asking these questions, you're not just gathering information, you're also demonstrating your expertise and showing that you're genuinely interested in helping the restaurant succeed. Now, this approach is far more effective than simply pitching your services, as it positions you as a partner rather than a vendor. Now, one of the most valuable assets that many restaurants have, but often overlook, is their customer data. If a restaurant uses reservation software like Resi or OpenTable, they likely have a substantial list of contacts that they're sitting on without fully utilizing. Now, these contacts represent a gold mine of potential business that can be tapped into with the right strategy. For example, one restaurant that I worked with had been open for a few years and had accumulated a list of nearly 12,000 customers. Now, these customers were not only active, but also recent, making them prime candidates for re-engagement. By exporting this contact list into a platform like Go High Level, you can start sending out targeted conversational offers via text message. The cost of sending these messages is minimal, less than a cent per text, yet the return on investment can be significant. The key to a successful outreach campaign is crafting an offer that is both compelling and easy to accept. One approach that has worked well for me is to send out simple conversational text that feels personal and authentic. For example, you might send a message like this. Hello, and then insert customer name. This is Sarah from Bistro Delight. We have a few vouchers left for a free dessert. Are you interested? Now, this kind of message is designed to create a quick yes or no response, making it easy for the recipients to engage. If they're interested, you can guide them to make a reservation. If not, you've still made a positive impression and you can refine your approach for next time. The key is to keep the offer straightforward and low pressure, which increases the likelihood of a positive response. Testimonials and case studies are among the most powerful tools that you can have in your arsenal. They serve as social proof and make future sales much easier by demonstrating that you have a track record of delivering results. Now, this is why I always recommend starting with a free or discounted service in exchange for a testimonial. It's a win-win situation. The restaurant gets to try your service at little to no cost and you get the social proof that you need to attract more clients. When you start working with new clients, take the time to document their current situation. Take screenshots of their Google reviews. Note how many reservations they're getting each month and track any other relevant metrics. Then, after you've implemented your strategy, document the results. This before and after comparison will be invaluable when it comes to convincing future clients of the value that you can provide. Now, when it comes to pricing, there are a few factors to consider. Initially, I found it beneficial to undercharge and over deliver. While this may seem counterintuitive, especially if you're looking to maximize your income right away, it's a strategy that pays off in the long run. By charging a lower rate at the start, you can build a strong portfolio of case studies and testimonials, which will make it easier to attract more clients and justify higher rates down the line. As you gain more experience and start to build a client base, you can begin to expand the range of your services you offer. For example, you might offer to set up a reservation calendar for your clients, build a loyalty program, or create a weekly nurture sequence to keep customers engaged. These additional services not only add value to your clients, but also provide you with more opportunities to get to generate income. Now, one approach that I like to use is similar to the pricing model employed by subscription services like Spotify. Offer a free trial period to give your clients a taste of what you can do, and then transition them to a paid plan that includes more advanced features. For example, you might start with a basic plan that includes appointment setting and weekly promotions for three to $400 a month. Then if the client wants to grow their customer list and run ads to attract new customers, you can offer a more comprehensive plan for about $800 a month. Retaining clients is just as important as acquiring them. And one of the best ways to do this is by continually demonstrating your value. 
Restaurant owners are often skeptical because they're used to dealing with high costs and tight margins. They want to see that their investment is paying off and that's where your ability to deliver results comes in. One strategy I use is to profit from text messages sent on behalf of my clients. Now with a platform like Go High Level, you can charge clients for each text message sent, which adds another stream of revenue to your business. For example, if you're sending out 1,000 messages per week at 10 cents per message, that's an additional $100 per week in revenue for you on top of your monthly fee. Now this not only increases your income, but it also reinforces the value of your service as clients can see the direct impact on their business. Now, once you've established a solid foundation with a few restaurant clients, you can start thinking about how to scale your business. And one way to do this is by leveraging the case studies and testimonials that you've gathered to attract new clients. With a proven track record, you can start charging more for your services and offer higher tiered packages that include additional features like full scale marketing campaigns or advanced analytics. Another approach is to partner with other service providers who can complement your offerings. For example, you might team up with a graphic designer to offer branding services or a web developer to create custom websites for your customers. By expanding your range of services, you can increase your income and become an indispensable resource for your clients. For those who are ready to dive in, Go High Level offers a 14-day free trial, allowing you to explore the platform and see if it's a good fit for your business. However, with my link, you will receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which is going to walk you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level's features can be overwhelming, but my course focuses on what truly matters to help you start making money right away. Plus, I'm going to give you more than $900 worth of high quality templates for free, including the Business Hub and Finance Hub. Just click the link in the description to learn more and claim your bonuses. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. In conclusion, securing your first restaurant client is all about demonstrating value building relationships, and leveraging testimonials to build credibility. By following the strategy outlined above, you can establish yourself as a trusted partner in the restaurant industry and create a scalable, sustainable business. Remember, the key is to start small, focusing on delivering results and gradually build up your client base. With persistence and the right approach, you can achieve success and become an invaluable asset to your clients.